Alright guys, so it's the new year and I'm back with 7 new apps for the month of January 2022. Let's get started. The first app is Voice Liner, which lets you quickly create a note, task or a list by simply speaking into your phone. And whatever you say, it just converts that into text. So let's say I've suddenly got a video idea in my head. So I just go into video ideas and record it. Play 90s game on your Android smartphone. Surely you can reorder the list, you can tap them, edit them and even play the recording back. The app also allows you to create outlines so you can structure your list. Next, if you spend too much time on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook and sometimes wish you could quickly just store that video or image onto your phone, you can do that. It's really as easy as tapping share to, then hitting one of those apps that I'm going to talk about, it's called video downloader. It will open up this interface with a download button which when you tap, it just downloads that video or that photo into your galleries. And yeah, it totally works with photos in the same way. Just tap on share, use that app and hit download and that's it. So this app is called video downloader slash status saver. And if you open the app, you'll see all the apps that it supports. And if you want to know how to use it, you could just tap on that eye icon. Next, what if you could replace those distracting notifications with important tasks that you can see each time you pull down the notification panel? I think that will keep you focused through the day, reminding you of what needs to be done. The app is called Cash and essentially you pin whatever it is you need to get done to your notification tray. So tap on a category, say pin to notifications, type that task and that's it. It would appear at the top of your notification tray. And if there's a bunch of text that you actually want to pin to your notification tray, you could just highlight it, tap on menu and then click stash and it would just magically appear on your notification tray. But if you want to go one step further, I would just have all my tasks on the lock screen like this. It's super effective and clean. And the best part, it's not even an app. And to do this, click on the link in the description. It will open up the site. Just make sure you log in. So just use your Google account. That's the easiest. And then tap on duplicate, which will open up a project in Figma. Don't worry about Figma. It's a pretty popular tool. On the left, click on Android. And then you will see this text item over here. Double click and edit with the task that you need to get done. And you can do that for all the five over here. Then tap on the artboard, click on 2x and then say export. It will give you a PNG image that you can then transfer to your phone and it will appear in your gallery from where you can set it up as your lock screen wallpaper. It's the easiest thing to do and the best way to have these to do tasks on your lock screen. And this is completely free and it's actually a lot simpler than it looks. Next, let's say you're watching a video or listening to a podcast or just looking at something, browsing something and you want to quickly take a note, but you don't want to leave that particular app. That's where this app is really helpful. It's called Floating Notes and literally you can just swipe it from anywhere and it would appear. All your notes are stored in the app and you can add more from within the app. You can attach reminders so you know you get notified as and when they're due. And I really think it's a very handy tool. For example, like if I'm on Instagram and I find something that I want to buy next, I can just quickly take down that note and keep it with me and I can just refer to that later. It's so simple and easy. I think it's just a great way to quickly jot down something on your phone irrespective of what you're doing on your phone or what app you're on. And if you've been wondering how I've set up this home screen setup, it's actually using Verone KWGT widgets. It's a beautiful collection of Android 12 style widgets whose colors adapt automatically to the colors of your wallpaper. This pack has more than 80 widgets and I'm confident that the developer will continue to add more. The variety is pretty decent. It's got plenty of date and time widgets, weather widgets, few photo widgets, analog clock widgets, volume control widgets, and so on. But sadly, no music widgets. But yeah, the collection is quite good. Now I am giving away 20 promo codes for this widget pack. All you have to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Instagram and DM me there asking me for promo codes to Varun KWGT. There are plenty weather apps in the Play Store, but Dina is a weather app that predicts what you might need given any climatic condition. And it's personalized to your needs. And so initially it gets to know you a little by asking you about your skin type, gender, height and weight and then depending on weather in your location, you know, looking at the wind speed, temperature, humidity, it will recommend an outfit that should be comfortable for you. Of course, you can go ahead and make an edit if required and Dina will learn from it over time making its recommendation even more tailored for you. 
And that's it guys, those were the apps for the month of January 2022. I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video and if you did, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification icon. I'll see you guys in the next one.